Alright, um, well, another tutorial. Um, this one I'm going to be going over the angle between two vectors. Um, if you saw my last tutorial on the dot product, um, this is just going to use the same exact um, code that we already that we already have. Um, if you haven't seen it, um, actually we can get rid of this. Yeah, we can get rid of that. Um, if you haven't seen it, I recommend going back and just taking a look at it. Um, it just kind of goes over kind of what I did here, um, just in a little bit more depth. And um, let's oh wow, I didn't even I didn't even notice that. I guess when I did my replace, I uh, changed the that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, back to what I was doing. The angle between two vectors. Um, algorithm looks the same. A times B is equal to the uh, value of A and B, and the uh, A right here is the uh, the angle between the vectors. So let's go ahead and minimize that. So our code is gonna basically you is gonna use this same same values for everything uh, that we did in the dot product. Uh, we can leave our work totals there. I just I probably recommend moving them down a little bit. Um, so we can add in. Uh, actually, let's not do that. Yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get get to what we need to add. Um, first things first is we need to square our uh, our totals here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, square. Not square. So we'll just uh, we'll set this to a random number. We'll say C is equal to sorry about that. Is equal to the power of a one squared, and we'll do a double um, do a double quote here. No, I don't I don't like that. Sorry. Use a single quote is equal to that plus the power of a. Oh, whoops, I uh, forgot that I used the uh, the arrays. So that two plus the power of a two squared. All right, let's see. And then after we we get all that, we um, we'll just make a square that square root function c, and uh, just for a little to make sure we'll uh, we'll output and make sure that we got the uh, the right answer, and then we'll do we'll do d for for the b actually we'll do this seems a little easier we replace. The, the C with the capital A, and then I go back up here and I'll double A and double B. Okay, so B is now equal to the power of B zero times two plus power of B1 2 plus the power of B2 two. got it and then we'll square it itself and we'll see how it does. Just, to, just to make sure all right, and uh, I made one a little fast there and didn't really explain what I was doing. Um, I was making a equal um, to a squared plus a one squared plus a two squared. Um, this little symbol right here, power symbol, um, gives you two arguments right in here. Uh, first is the the value that you want to square, and the second is how much you want to square by. So if I change that to four, it'd be a zero to the power of four. But we only want to so we only want to do two. So now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and um, do 
the rest of this. We're going to just do a, a total, which is equal to A times B. Let's go ahead up here and initialize it with the other totals. Alright, got that. Total. And then what we want to do is take our, our total from our 3D and uh, divide it by our total right there. So, and that's what we're going to um, use our cosine function for. So we'll just enter this as, uh, we'll, do, we'll do answer. That's exactly what it is. Is equal to 3d total divided by total, and then we put that here. A N S is now equal to a cos A N S, and then make sure. Oops, yeah, we use a float that you do this or else you will get the wrong answer. So, that just converts it into radians, I believe. Um, or degrees. No, sorry. It uh, converts it to degrees. Actually, I, uh, I don't know why I didn't look that up. Um, it's, it, I, I believe it's into degrees. That's, that's what I'm going for, so that's what it should be. So, if I'm wrong, Please correct me, and um, I'll change it. Uh, but anyway, you, you get the general idea. So now that we do that, we're going to see out and say the player must turn to find the new vector. And uh, what, what this is essentially doing is A1 through A3 are, are um, where we're currently at or we're currently moving to our velocity. And, and this B down here is representing our uh, where we want to be or where we want to follow. So essentially it, we're seeking out this, uh, this new point. We need to see how far or wherever we need to turn in order to, to reach the, this, new, this new point. So... Um, I could draw up a little graph where you show you like how it is, but I, I'm not going to do that. So let's go ahead and compile it, and we got some errors. Oh, whoops. Yep, never change that, and I never initialize AMS. So let's just do that. Oops, double AMS. Compile again. It should be yep. Oh, one error. PI. Oh. Never. Oh, okay. Um, silly mistake. Just go ahead and do this. Define pi as 3.141. Was it 1592.6f, I believe. Float. Okay. Compile it again. And what do you know? We got it. So let's do the first one. So five, two. Um, let's do a negative three, eight, one, and a negative four. So as you can see, our two D total, our three D total. Um, these are our C outs that we did for each one. Um, so it's that plus that equal. Oh, nope. Sorry. I don't know why I got a different number. Oh no, I guess it rounds it rounds to it. Um, so yeah, that's the player must turn 13.3 degrees to find the new vector. So that's basically in a nutshell what um, how to find the angle between two vectors. Um, I hope that you that you found this helpful. And that's all I'm trying to do. So um, thank you for watching. Again, my name is Dex, and I uh, will. Hopefully see you in another video.